Hello, how is everyone doing? Happy Sunday or whatever day of the week that you're watching this. It is Molly May from Ponder and Ply um, and I am back this week with a different episode to what I would normally have, something you haven't seen before. A week ago I decided to set myself a challenge and humour me with the title. Two hats, one week. Please, to all my 90s babies that understand that reference and how outrageous I am. <laughs> uh, there will be no excrement or sexual activities in this video. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, lucky you. And also, I'm sorry, because <laughs> that sounds very weird out of context. So anyway, at the beginning of the week, or actually last Friday, a week, a week Friday, I set myself the task of whether I can knit two hats in one week. I wanted to see if I could do it for fun. Um, this is not representative of how I usually knit or um, I don't really normally set myself any kind of like, unless I'm testing any kind of deadline. So just something for fun. I thought, let's see if I can do it. So I picked two hat patterns. I picked the Manhattan hat by Tori Yu and the Robin Beanie by sorry, Nordland. Um, just in case you noticed, I got my hair freshened up today. We've changed the colour slightly. It's looking very orange in this light. It is very orange, but it's a bit more, tiny bit more toned down in real life. And I had it cut because it was dry as hell. But usually I style it myself and I will do my fringe a bit more 50 style. We've gone for an 80s blow dry, not on purpose. My hairdresser is amazing, um, but I don't normally give myself an 80s blow dry. So, uh, looks a bit weird. <laughs> I'm loving the volume, but the fringe is getting in my face and it's driving me crazy. Anyway, let's see if I did it. Do you think I did it? Have a, have a decision now. You have three options. No, you fucking failed. <laughs> yes, you managed to have. You manage the two hats plus something else. Wouldn't that be nice? Take a guess. Watch my next little montage of videos if you clips from during the week. And then meet me back here in a couple of minutes to find out. coming to you from a lovely low angle, giving you all the chin action. Um, I thought that I would give you a quick update on where I got to after day one. Not quite as much as I wanted, but to be fair to myself, I spent the morning finishing my partner pullover. So this was just evening knitting. Let's see how many inches I got done. So at like three and a half, three and three quarters, and I really minimum I wanted to get to four inches yesterday. So today I will try, I wanted to get another four, but maybe I'll aim for five. Um, I'm also the tiniest bit concerned that I'm going to run out of yarn before I finish the pattern. So the pattern has three brim options, no brim, a single folded brim and a double folded brim. And I really want the double folded brim obviously. Um, it would probably be good if I checked how much yarn I have versus how much yarn it says you need in the pattern and maybe that'll put my mind at ease or make me order another ball. I mean, I'm about almost, not quite, almost a third way through the body and then the decreases at the top aren't very much and I'm still on my first ball of yarn. It just looks a bit used up but I still do, hope, do have a whole nother one which is it's a bit smooshed. Not how many... 50 grams, 150 meters. So I have 300 meters in total. I feel 
like the pattern was like 280 so maybe I'll be okay but I don't actually remember so I'll check and let you know what that was later um but yeah day two still on the first hat I think tomorrow when I'm nearly ready to start the decreases hopefully I will also start the second hat which will be the robin beanie so I better get knitting I'm off out I'm heading down to Oxford Street today to get a few skincare products oh woe is me <laughs> no I'm looking forward to it just spending some time by myself to get what I need um so I'll be getting some train knitting done uh, but I won't really be doing any knitting whilst I'm walking around Oxford Street on a Saturday because it's going to be bloody busy. But I will check in when I get back and we'll see how much I've got done. Actually, what I might do is, is I'll pop in a stitch marker and we'll measure how far I get. See you later. Guess what I did? <laughs> so first of all, I worked on the Manhattan Hat by Tori Yu. This is in Drops Air. Uh, it took just under two skeins in total. I was a bit worried at one point that I was gonna run out, but I actually have some left. This is a wonderful pattern and I love the style of the hat. This one I actually remember to keep the markers in to show you what I did. So this one was after day one, I did this much. Day two, I did a lot, that's this much. And day three, I finished the hat. It's a double folded hat, it's one by one ribbing. And I just love the decreases. I think it's really unique. If I come really close. Yeah, and that color's pretty accurate. It's a beautiful lilac. Um, that is the messy side. One side of my decreases are way more messy than the other. The other side is really tidy, that's what I should show you. I don't know why that is. Normally I really, don't really have that issue, but must have not been paying attention or not pulled it tight enough. But let me show you it on. Obviously I've just had my hair done, so it's not gonna look as good as when I style it. But, so I just love, normally I'm not one for this little tuffety bit, but I actually think it's really flattering. It's quite modern. <laughs> Um, and I just love it. It's really warm because it's got the double footed brim, stands up a bit. I just think that's a great hat. I love it. Um, and I love the colour. The colour's making me really happy. I love a good lilac. So oh, let me pop that one off. No, I messed up the, the do. Uh, then the next hat I did was this one. And this is the Robin Beanie by Sari Nordland. Again, it is a longer hat. I actually haven't woven in the ends on this one yet. I did on the other one though because I've worn it a lot. This is actually knitted up in uh, Brain Freeze <laughs> Zakami Yarns. It was that single skein that I got from their, I want to say Winter Solstice, but I don't know if it was. It was they did this really nice set with the Ed Edinburgh Candle Company. It's a candle, this colour and a pinky colour and I got a jumpers quantity of the pinky colour but I just got one skein of DK. What was really nice about the Robin Beanie is it is top down, which is a little bit fiddly at the beginning, but if you've only got one skein of yarn, I just kept going until I, oh, that's why I left it on. I wanted to show you, like, that's, ex that's how much yarn I have left. It wasn't enough to do another round, so I just bound off. Um, so I just, yeah, I got to use all of it, which I really love. So let me show you. I can either double fold it or single fold it and have a really wide brim. So I'll show you the wide brim first. Yeah, I like that a lot. Let me come close and show you how beautiful that colour is actually really accurate on screen how nice is that 
Um, let me show you the double folded, which actually looks quite similar. I didn't remember to put um, stitch markers in this, but I did it in two days. So, as you might have guessed, I got some bonus knitting done. So, there we go, that's it, double folded. So this one I was thinking more for like dog walks. It's not my usual colour palette. I, but I do really like it. My sister fell in love with it. Rob's giving me those compliments on it. I'm still getting used to it. Like I said, it's not my usual thing. It's not super girly. Um, and although I haven't always been super girly, I definitely am now. And this is probably more my personality than this. But we do so many like hikes, walks with the dog. And I think this would be a really good one for that. And it's so bloody warm. So that, oh, well, maybe I should wear it like this. New fashion statement. <laughs> So that is the Robin beanie. So that's my two hats in one week. But I did two hats and two mitts in one week. This right here are the mittens I've been meaning to make for the longest time. So let me get close and show you. So what I did is I held um, two yarns double. It's actually the DK pattern, what pattern is it? The arched gusset mitten pattern from Pearl Soho. Let me stick these on. The pattern actually has a rib, sorry, it does not have a ribbed hem and I added a ribbed hem. What I did is I did uh, one bow, I added, so the stitch count was uneven. So I just added one stitch, um, did one by one ribbing for as long as I wanted. I think it's a couple of inches. Then I, in the next, in the first stockinette round, I decreased out the extra stitch, knit four stockinette rounds, and then started the pattern. And then I followed the pattern after that exactly. So what's really cool about this pattern is the arched gusset, hence the name. But yes, yarn. Um, so the yarn that I used for my partner pullover, the brown, I ordered another colour that was originally meant to go with it instead of this one uh, but it was nothing like I thought it was I thought it was closer to this color and very clearly it isn't I also had some really really sorry I've got she knows pale pink very pale pink pearly mohair so I held the it's juniper moon farms harriet in a it's like a gray browny pinky color but it's very like grey brown with like just a hint of pink and then I held the really light pink mohair which has like been in my stash forever and it was like an Etsy purchase from some random seller and I've got a ton of it left still I think not like jumpers quantity but lots of accessories worth um so let me stick the other one on I was on a course the Thursday and Friday I actually took a day off and then the Thursday and Friday I did one mitten a day whilst watching and on doing an online course through for my work um that sleeve down and they just look really 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 cute you can see that quite nicely against the back actually and the arched gussets um i'm just gonna talk like this from now on <laughs> i love them they're great it's a free pattern definitely recommend it got lots of sizes i made the adult medium on these the hats i made if there was if robin beanie didn't have a size the manhattan hat i made the largest size because i wanted it big and i've been told i have a big head so i'm glad i went with the size that i went with it fits nicely so clearly i have a big head but that is it that is what i did this week that's a week's worth of knitting and I do have a full-time job however um, I work from home and do spend a lot of the day in meetings so when I can if I'm not hosting the meeting I will and I'm just having to contribute a little oh I've got mohair everywhere and I'm just having to con contribute a little bit I will knit under camera no one will see my colleagues know what I'm doing but management do not <laughs> so uh, yes that is what I did in a week um, do you ever set yourselves challenge? God, that 80s hair is really starting to annoy me. I don't like it. I like the colour, but I don't like my 80s hair. And I've just made it more 80s. Sorry. So, I need to stop saying sorry as well. Do you say sorry too much? I say sorry too much. So, what do you knit? Do you set yourself challenges? Is there, like, do you try and get lots of things done? Do you try and slow down and knit less? Because that's something I should definitely be doing. Uh, I want to know what, what challenges you like to set yourself, if any. Um... No competition here. 
I'm not the fastest knitter in the world, I'm most certainly not the slowest. It was just a little bit of fun uh, with myself. Yes, I do enjoy fun with myself. <laughs> Down boy! Um, yes, okay. Um, 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 because as you may be able to tell, I didn't really plan this part of the video. I just kind of started rambling. So, oh, well, while I'm still here, I might as well show you. See this jacket? Isn't it cute? Oh, it doesn't look as good on camera because it's too high up, but I promise you, it's like a peplum jacket that I found in a charity shop. I just thought it was a brilliant find. Just really nice, quite smart. And it's stretchy, so it kind of feels like a hoodie, but it looks really quite smart. Anyway, it's stuff it related to knitting. I didn't even wear my knitting, actually. I should probably finish with some knitting on me, shouldn't I? So that is what I made this week. Let me know about your challenges. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I will see you again next week. Um, I will be doing a oh last last thing because I can't stop talking. I will be doing a pre-recorded video next week because I am off to Edinburgh. Rob and I are off to see his sister who lives in Edinburgh. My sister is coming to house sit and dog sit. Um, and yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. So I might put some content in from Edinburgh. You might pop see some Instagram photos popping up uh, next week. So yeah, enjoy the video whilst I'm on holiday and uh, I shall see you soon. Happy knitting.